hello folks hope you are doing well um this video is about showing you how you can enable logging on the cisco firepower uh so i've come across issues uh, when i installed a firepower in my virtual lab where when i was trying to analyze some traffic i wasn't able to see the logs on the cisco firepower so i'll, I'll show you the demonstration so this is my a test client and if i'm doing uh, if i'm going to ipchicken.com website uh, then i should see some logs on the cisco Fire, firepower right that i'm going I'm, I'm visiting this website so i should be able to see some logs but in firepower uh, if you check that it will not be able to see those events until you enable some settings so i'll show you that as well so let's see what events we see when we are trying to go to ipchicken.com or maybe we'll go to amazon all right so we are not seeing any of the logs here there are no events available so to enable logging what you need to do is you need to enable login in the security policies. So I have basically two policies at the moment configured on the FTD appliance. One is block FP where I'm blocking the Facebook traffic and one is allow all. So anything which doesn't go to Facebook will be allowed. So for block Facebook where I'll, I'll enable logging for block, block Facebook policy. So once you type on this little edit button, you go to logging and you select log action as at beginning and end of the connections and click OK. And I will enable same settings or same uh, log action for allow all policy as well. So it takes a bit of time. So for allow all where I have allowed all the traffic apart from Facebook. So go to logging, check the box which says at beginning and end of connection click OK. And after that, uh, you will need to deploy these changes over the Firepower Threat Defense appliance. So you can check what changes you, can, you are making. So you can just review the changes you are making and hit on deploy, deploy now. So it will take a couple of minutes. it takes a couple of minutes to deploy the changes so the deployment is in progress so meanwhile you can go back and go to the loggings so in order to check the logging or the events you have to go to monitoring and go to events so as soon as the changes gets deployed, we'll be able to see, we'll, we'll generate the traffic again for Facebook and Amazon. And after that, we'll be able to see the logs here. All right, guys, so changes are deployed. So it still says deployment is in progress, but changes are deployed. Um, then we'll see, we'll go to the monitoring and we'll initiate some sessions to Facebook and Amazon. And we'll try to see if we see some logs on the FTD appliance or not. Oh, Mr. Peter. 
Just try to hit. Sorry. So the Facebook is getting blocked and we'll check the Amazon. We'll just try to hit refresh. And we'll try to see if we see something in the events on FTD. So yeah, you see now you can sing You can see the events in the monitoring. So if you want to check, if you want to dig down more about these events, you go to view details and you can see what is, what is happening. So you can choose the columns according to your convenience. If you want to see the application, the intrusion policy, source, destination, destination port, whatever you want to choose, you can adjust the monitoring as per your convenience. Rule. Got expired, let me re-log in again. For now, we'll, we are seeing that traffic for Facebook is getting blocked. See, um, for Facebook, we are seeing the connection events, connection event block, and the URL is facebook.com. So we can see what is happening. We can do the further analysis, like why the traffic is getting blocked, and we can adjust our policy according to this. So this is how you can enable logging on Cisco Firepower Threat Defense Appliance. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.